things. Uh, you know, everybody's down, but we just got to stay together, find a way to push through. I mean, Rutgers played a great game out there. We just got to be better, execute whenever time comes, opportunity presents itself, and the locker room's going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Everybody's a little down, but we'll be good. Brendan, when did you find out you were going to be the starter today? Um, earlier on this week, I kind of started taking reps with the ones and everything, so it wasn't too much of a surprise, but at least I was able to get into a little bit of a rhythm, so, yeah. When are you able to settle in and feel comfortable in a game, especially like today? Um, from the get-go today, I felt I felt pretty good. The O-line protected really well. Missed a couple throws that I'm, I'm going to want back, but overall, I mean, I felt like the offense executed just a couple miscues that, that stalled some drives, so. What needs to be done to fix those miscues? Uh, just more reps after practice. You know, I feel like we do a great job of that. Um, but just more, just more reps, always extra work is always a good thing. So that was kind of a back and forth. How have you handled that? How have you tried to kind of get through this? You know, obviously. Um, yeah, so me and Taven, obviously we're close. Everybody knows that. Um, we're trying to be there for each other. Um, whenever he's playing, I'm there for him. Whenever I'm playing, he's there for me. I feel like he was a great teammate on the sideline today. Helped me out a lot. So I'm just thankful that. You know what I'm saying? Whenever the rules are reversed and whoever's playing, we're always there for each other. So. But you personally, after you kind of lost out on the job in week three, what was your kind of mindset? You know, how how did you kind of get through that the last four weeks? To obviously, um, now back in back in number one. Every practice you treat as if you're the guy. Every rep that you get, you're trying to make the most of it. So, um, regardless of where you are on the depth chart, you should come to practice with a mindset that you that you're the guy, and you know, the cards are going to fall into place. So. What needs to happen for the offense to produce throughout a full game and not just early on? Like I said, those little miscues, you know, we fix those, drives keep going, points keep going on the board. It's just small things that, like, end up being big things. So we just got to fix those small things and we'll be all right. What did you feel were those miscues in today's game? Uh, like I said, just a couple missed throws by me. Um, that's, that's really it. I mean, making more plays on the outside that I got to help them out by putting a better ball out there. I'm kind of messing up on that so with the back and forth you and Taven have had all in and out all season just is it tough to kind of not start looking over your shoulder when you miss throw, a few throws like you said um yeah but you know at the end of the day you can't do that you can't just be looking back the whole time you got to look forward you got to worry about the next play and if you met you mess up you got to go got to go make a play the next play so when you're off the field for a while how hard is it to maintain rhythm, especially when you're playing as close as for the first one um you know, obviously you get a little cold on the sideline, but it's nothing. I mean, like I said, we just got to make plays when we're out there and, and help the defense because the defense can say the same thing about us is we're not on the field enough. So they're on the they're right back on the field, three and out, long drive, three and out, long drive. Like we can't do that to them. So. With Coach Perry, the past couple of weeks, has there been any changes you feel like or mm -hmm. anything different this time? Uh, no, uh, obviously Coach Perry has been working with us a little bit um, for a few weeks now. so. You know, I feel comfortable with him calling the plays, and I think he's done a good job. After you were named the starter this week, did Taven send you any message or anything? Uh, no, we just, we're pretty much hanging out every day. So, you know, we really don't, like off the field, we try not to talk about it as much. We just hang out, so. What's the biggest difference, would you say, from having Brad Carey here versus not? Uh, it's really similar, actually. It's just a little different style of coaching. Um, he's, like I said, I had him last year. I was on the scout team and, and he was my coach pretty much there. So, I mean, I've had a good relationship with him. So really not much has changed, honestly. Would you see Two more. more in a better uh, direction, the offense with him in that position? Uh, I feel like we've had some really like special moments over the past two games. If we could put those all together, then then we'd play a really good game. We just, like I said, we just gotta clean up the small things. Um, just gonna keep passion on that. We just gotta clean up the small things. We'll be all right. Last one. What's it been like? What's it been like for you, to kind of watching Dex uh, recover? You know, from spring, like you know, still recover from the injury and work his way back and kind of get back into the fold a little, bit, a little bit more now. Uh, yeah. Dex is obviously he's another one of those guys that I'm really close with. Um, he's made a remarkable recovery. He's done a really good job recovering and getting back. So, you know, he looks good at practice. Um, yeah. Great. Thanks, Brendan.